joining me as we check out and this is a, a brand new group for me um the dead south and in hell i'll be in good company um not at all what i expected but this is brilliant absolutely brilliant um incredibly talented individuals they come together absolutely just perfectly um what a voice um, that first guy has the guy in the uh, in the center in the black hat is there was a, just an incredible kind of gravel to his voice and it was absolutely just mind-blowing at the start there absolutely just love that voice and obviously I mean we haven't heard anything other than the banjo from the guy on the right yet but I'm, I'm wondering if he's about to start singing at some point because this feels like one of those groups where they can do everything because they can all sing they can all play an instrument they can all write music you know just uber talented people all coming together to just kind of share a passion and yeah this kind of has that feel to it and I'm loving the kind of a bit of like a bluegrass influence on this as well it's it's very very good but at the same time it's it's kind of got a new vibe to it as well obviously it's i think it's down to six years ago i just oh 365 million views on this video wow i just i've just clocked that that is incredible numbers and to be honest i can see why because it's incredibly catchy it's fun I, I love the video and the transitions between locations but the way they keep it going there's just more and more to like about this the more i kind of think about it and the more i'm watching it so i'm keen to get back to it i'm sure you are as well so let's knock this back a fraction see it through to the end
Okay, everybody, there it was. Uh, the Dead South with In Hell I'll Be In Good Company. And I am absolutely just blown away by that. It was nothing like what I was expecting. It was absolutely just genius. I mean, the video transitions between locations were just fantastic. It must have been a lot of fun to make the video, but the talent that these guys have is just undeniable. I mean, there was just this very raw, very gritty, yet yeah, vocal uh, that kind of really drew you in. Uh, but like I say, the music in there was just so catchy, so very catchy, and those instruments were brilliant, the way it all came together. There was just so much to love about it and the, the longer it went on the, the more and more i enjoyed it the more i liked it the more i was kind of you couldn't help but tap along at all you couldn't help but click your fingers you just you just couldn't help it there was nothing on earth that was going to stop me during that song doing that but like i said at the same time it was it, even though it felt very current there was some you know some serious kind of like bluegrass kind of influences in there some country influences in there the instrument like i said with the instrumentation um like i said i could go on and on and on there was so much in there going on it was just absolutely incredible um very refreshing very unexpected yeah brilliant absolutely brilliant I can fully understand why this has 365 million views and it deserves it because it was that good so yeah i'm now very very keen to see where we go next with this group um to see what they're all about learning a little bit more um so yeah if you have any recommendations get them in the comments i cannot wait to check out this group a little bit more tumble down this the dead south rabbit hole it could be a lot of fun and it'd be great to have you along so if you're interested and you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button I will also leave a link to the country music journey that we're on so far. There's bound to be something in there for you, so dive in, check it out. Come on this journey with me. There's such a long way to go. It'd be great to have you along. But until then, and until next time, I hope you all take care. I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.